you were royalty and you've just got to start acting like it you've got to start thinking like the king and the queen that you are god looks at you and he doesn't see a child he doesn't see just anybody he doesn't see an average person he doesn't see your past you see the moment you gave your life to christ everything changed about you your family line changed it doesn't matter what kind of background or past that you come from. It doesn't even matter who your parents are or are not. It doesn't matter what mistakes you've made or what you've done. All that ceased to matter the moment you gave your life to Christ. All of that ceased to matter the moment you gave your life to Christ. You see, you are a different person than you were before. And if you don't learn to start seeing yourself the same way that God sees you, you will never become all that God has destined you to be. You're a king, you're a queen, you are royalty, and royalty's got expectations. Kings and queens see the world differently from normal people. God sees you as a king. God sees you as a queen. When are you ever going to begin to see yourself that same way? Is the devil lying to you? Keeping you stuck by continuously bringing to mind all the things that are not excellent about your past? Or... Are you the one who has put a limitation on yourself and has said, I just can't do this. I will never be able to do that. I will never be able to get out of there. These kinds of wishes are a waste of time for people like me. People who come from where I come from never make it beyond a certain level. Why waste time hoping unnecessarily for more? One of the greatest ways the devil will keep you grounded is by having you believe and accept as truth, a lie about yourself. You see, whatever you call a truth begins to function as a truth in your life. And even though it's supposed to be a lie, it doesn't matter. If you buy into it, it becomes your reality. You've got to wake up. Wake up to who you are. Stop selling your inheritance for mere peanuts. Stop giving your pills to swine. You may not have been aware that you've been doing it, but that's why this world is coming to you today. That is why God wants you to take note. That is why kings are familiar with the law. Take a look at what a queen calls her son. Let's read Proverbs 31 from verse 1 to 5. The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. Said, What my son? And what the son of my womb? And what the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes to drink strong drink. Lest the drink and forget the law and prevent the judgment of any of the afflicted. Kings know the law because the law encompasses who they are. It tells them how to function. It tells them how to act in their office. It tells them what liberties they can take and which they can't. It tells them when they are out of line and when they are not. It tells them what is true and what is a lie. As a king, if you're ever going to be able to live out the fullness of your position and operate properly in the place that God has put you in, then you also need to know the law. The law is your constitution. It's your guide to what is true or not. God has given you his word so you can identify and pull down the lies of the enemy. So the next time God decides to send you to represent his interest as the king of kings, from one king to another, and that whisper comes into your mind saying how you just can't, or something in you doesn't just feel like you are up to the task, then you've got to get back to the world and see if it's really true. Fill your mind with the word of God, so you will be equipped to see the light of the enemy as they come, and so that you can shield your life from them. God wants you to move forward. He wants to use you to do great things in your community and in your family. He wants you to show forth his glory as the king and queen that you are. But you've been holding him back. You've been looking at yourself as ordinary, as nothing special, as nobody important. Well, today he says no more. Get up. Get up from that depression. Get up from that low place that has become home for you. Things may have been difficult. Things may have been bad, they may have been even crazy, but kings are not determined by the situation. The situation doesn't make them. They make the situation. This is why God says that he has given you the power to speak life 
and death over every situation. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You are his oracle. You can decree a thing, and it will surely come to pass. You've got to stop waiting for someone to come from somewhere and just save you. Stop waiting for a deliverer when God has already given you everything that you need to deliver yourself from that situation. Yes, trust in God. You've got to call out to Him. But realize that God has equipped you with everything that you need for life and righteousness. His divine power had given unto us all things to pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of Him that had called us to glory and virtue. He has given you the victory already. You don't need to feel like it to experience it. You just got to trust His word and begin to walk in what He says. He has already done for you. You have the victory. You've got the victory over every stubborn devil in your life. Over every situation, it doesn't matter how long it has been there. You have the victory over your mind and your emotions. You've got a victory in your health. You've got a victory in your finances. You have the victory in your family. Yes, you might need to learn one or two things. You might need some specific wisdom that you are yet to get in order to finally be free of that place and of that level. But it's only a matter of time. The expiration date has already been decided. Child of God, if you can see what I'm saying to you right now, then you will surely qualify for it. You don't need to do anything else to qualify. It's already been done. Jesus paid all of that price. When he bought you over with his blood, when he translated you from the kingdom of darkness and adopted you into the kingdom of light, he did all of that. Just believe and trust and begin to act based on the knowledge that you've been anointed as royalty by the very creator of the universe. You've got to get to the word and begin to see what all of that means and see everything before you begin to give way to the authority and the anointing that's walking you. If God says you are a king, then you best believe that you are one. All you've got to do is just believe in God. God bless you.